Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Tryouts. And this game is this game we're trying out now is Pokemon Unite. So you know the rules. We have one hour. And this thing has to impress me. And possibly I'll play more more matches and play this game even more. If it does impress. If it fails to impress, I'll still play the full hour to give it the full chance just to give it the chance that I might be missing something right off the bat holy shit this music is off the max I, I really need to find the options menu immediately but yes we're on the tutorial now uh, there's a lot of preamble like agreeing to terms and conditions and privacies and like holy shit this took me quite a while to just took a few minutes to actually just get the trainer name Took several tries. Apparently, I could put. I could. I was not allowed to put in any kind of Pokemon names. But hey, let's get started. Basics. Yeah, my which way of team's face is a MOBA. That's what I know of it. But you know, in general, I don't really play MOBA because the free-to-play model. But Hololive really got me interested into it. Yep. Surely there's some kind of dash. Can I auto attack? Oh, yeah, I have, to, I have to press a button to auto attack. Oh, I have to actually press. I have to hold. Okay, you can hold the button. And that creates unite orbs and unite unite balls are used to. Okay, through the goals. How do you do? What button do you need to press? Collecting energy for a chance. Scoring goal with that energy is one thing. You will match your points. Victory goes to the team that scores the most points. Yes. In its opponent's goals. Goal zone before time runs out. Which is usually three minutes if I recall. I see you've collected some energy. And you're a unite ball. Try scoring a goal. What button? Do I just go? Oh, I have to press X. Okay. Let's see here, you have a talent. I hate the constant condescending tone they ever say with that. Oh wow, amazing. You played the basic controls. Like you have like you don't have talent. Anyone can do this. Oh then let's head to the full fledged goal scoring practice. A variety of Pokemon appear the wild, the amount of energy gains after defeating them also varies based on their species. And you can see by the numbers how much you gain and how and how strong they are. Okay, so that's simple enough. I do appreciate the FPS beta, by the way. That's really nice. Score 30 points. Oh, okay, I have special moves. My, my Volt Tackle and uh, what is that? Electro Ball. Oh, wow, it auto locks. I appreciate that. There's some cooldown to it. And then I have to press X to dunk it in. And the higher amount, the longer it takes. Gotcha. I have to get more. I keep thinking the actual buttons are... um, Because A is the normal attack, I feel like I could press like Y or B to do, do the other moves. But no, that's completely wrong. It's all the triggers and the thingy moves. What's the unite move? Once, yeah, once you unite move charges the one, you can unleash your super strong unite move. So you ult. Uh oh, looks like an opposing war turtle is defending the gold zone. You need to defeat that war turtle. I need to. I need to change the controls. Probably an AOE. Yeah. When you knock out your from the opposing team, it drops some AOE. 
as energy it was carrying, be sure to pick it up. See. On the other hand, this means that your opponent may also pick up your harder energy if you're knocked out. Keep this in mind when battling against other opponents. Okay. Nicely done. All right, let's head to the stadium to practice the team battle. Okay. So far, so good. All right, let's try a five on five unite battle with some other trainers. So bots, it's a bot battle. All right. I'm waiting for my chance to actually play with an Eevee. Okay, so evidently loading screens are a thing for this game. But hey, that's fine. It's an, it's it's a it's a five v five multiplayer mode. It's one of the actual venues of the Unite Battle. The area of purple is your teammate, the orange is your opponent's. The map is split into two paths, one on top and one at the bottom. Both your team's goals? I can see, yeah, probably those things. But you can go through the middle, can't you? The opposing team's goals locate from these paths. Okay, yeah, you can, th these are definitely open paths. Proceed along the path while defeating wild Pokemon, collecting Earth's energy, successfully depositing the Earth's energy in an opposing goal. Earn your points for your team. This one of the opposing team's goals. You can score goals and you can goals to collect. Multiple teammates gather in a single goal point. Goals can be scored faster. Ah, so that the charge time is, gets, gets a little less. One of your team's goals. You can recover HP in these, making them very useful. Okay, so I don't have to go all the way back to the base. Alright, let's go ahead and try out Team Battle. Don't worry. Give you advice when you need it. I need to remember that this trigger is the right trigger in the bumper. Not the um with the actual moves. I don't know if what's battle begins should be defeated. Bob Hog went to collect Aeos energy. Five minutes. Look in the bottom path, okay. shouldn't really be doing this, should be doing the opposite end. That's the first thing I fucking learned. It's like Pokemon Brown, you can now learn a new move, go ahead. Go with Thunder. I was just 8 points? What the fuck? Okay, so I can do this to intercept enemy opponents from here. Okay, it doesn't like have an AoE. Looks like you move, learn to move, move, choose a move. Teach your Pokemon. Ah, uh, let's try Fall Tackle. Yeah, Fall Tackle is really good. He just locks on. But yeah, if you're in a pinch, you use thunder. I'll get you. Like there. Here would be where you use thunder. It looks, seems like you have to see if they're scoring on that end. Should I just leave them to it to score? Oh, that's gonna get me killed. Gotcha, bitch. Now it's time to score. Okay, I'm. I feel like I'm not playing as well as I should. Push. 
Because right now I'm looking at the top, I should be defending that. Because they're really aggressive at the top there, and my team's getting booped. Never mind, Charizard is actually kicking their ass. Uh, I should I should stay at the bottom then. Okay, that gives me an AOE. Okay. Thunder release. Version search for draw, the beam time makes it easier for your team to score. But watch out, Zapdos is easy to take alone, battle with your teammates. That's fine. I'll score my goal and then I'll go. Yeah, get the fuck out. No! HP is low, you can recover HP by entering one of the team zone. Thank you! Can you fuck off, please? Oh! That's scary. Give me a second to heal. I can't even see the enemy's HP. I'm guessing that- oh god. Bitch, get out of my way. Okay, the goal is up there. I don't think I'll make it though. We won, but... Okay. I need to think of a way to do this more efficiently, but... I get it. It's just like a, it's like an issue of just memorizing the map. Yeah, I did okay, but you know, these are bots. Let's get to the main menu. Unit, uh, Unite license. Claim your reward from trying to win. Basically, I can use a slow bro. Okay, let's turn to the main menu. Let's see all the currencies and all that. See how it all works. How was it? Did you get the feel for how Pokemon Unite battles work? You can practice like this whenever you want. If you feel the need to train a little bit, check out practice at the main menu. To commemorate your first Unite battle, I'm going to give you an Ultra Unite license as a present. Choose any one Unite license. You None of these are anything I want. To be frank with you guys. Uh, looks like... I'd probably choose Pikachu, but... Yeah, Talonflame Speedster. Yeah, I prefer like high, high, probably highly speedy units that I can just go... Go, go, off to, go off into different areas really quickly. See your train level increase after your last battle. Can you come around your gift from the street train whenever you level increases? Okay, let's have a look. This is your battle pass for this season. You check your trainer level and commemorate gifts from each level. Night license for Slowbro. So I can use Slowbro. The way the frame rate just shits the bed anytime you do a normal 
menu selection is very jank. Also the sound effects, plus the music is too fucking loud. Okay, slow bro. I might actually be a slow bro for a bit until I can get my EVs. I don't want that. I don't know what any of these are. But let me see what Pokemon I can get if I go all the way to the end. Cause like, yeah. I I'll try this game for a full season, see what get what it gets me. I'm trying to just go to the other side. What's that? Oh, boost emblem. And then like what the hell does that do? What's that? I don't know what that is. Uh, boost emblem for other Pokemon. Three day boost pass when you doubles the amount of battle points. Earned. Okay, so it has Assassin's Creed esque booster mechanics. So basically, without these, without you spending money, it might be a bit of a grind to play. But so long as it doesn't affect gameplay, I'm fine. If it just unlocks unlockables. Okay, and this is my general 14 day welcome gift. Day one. Oh, I get a license for that. Cool. Don't care for that. Do I just get the Eevees right away or what? You can invite friends to earn rewards. Okay. What does that mean? Invite code. What does that do? Receive codes. I don't... What? What is this? I, I, I did a mission apparently. I don't know what any of this are. Win 32 battles and obtain the Yitlet's life for... I don't even know. Exchange method... I'll probably exchange methods like... Exchange currency. This is overwhelming, honestly. But let's see what this is. Yeah, okay, I've seen that. What's the membership? What the hell's an Aeos gem? Additional license every two weeks. Oh, trial licenses. Nah. Log in, exchange your energy. Night move time ten times. Don't know what this is. So, okay, where do... Just overwhelming. Participate in battle. Panic parade. Battle pass. What's in the battle pass? It's gonna ask me to put. If I see so much as an e shop, I'm gonna be just ex exit out instantly. Oh, it's just the trailer. Whatever. Let me see the information. Raising your, okay, raising your battle pass level by completing mission pool. Allow you to receive lots of different rewards. What are the rewards? The fuck is this? What are you? What is any of this? Okay. Who was that? Oh. That's what I'm aiming for at the end then. And then later on, if I keep going, I'll just gain more. Yeah, I don't, well, I don't. I'd rather not like have. Rather not make a game my my life. Thank you.
Anyway. Events? What are the events? What's that? Tell you what. That looks like a very classy Ninetales. So the tickets... No, that's... Okay, it's not that. What is going on? So this buys me clothes, but I don't have the currency for it. Alright, and what's in the events? Okay, I was just there. Welcome to Japan. Oh, Unite licenses. Yeah, you can check the background on IS Virginia Emporium, trading and doing a little shopping. So you can get all sorts of items, including fashion items. Let's say you can get some real unique items, you'll have to get check yourself. Head to, head to the Unite Committee. Okay. Okay, so I can earn these by earning normal currency and gems. I only want the EVs, so that's fine. I can probably just grind those. Yeah, I want these and these. Based on the price, I'm guessing Glaceon's a little more meta than the others. Umbreon. I want Umbreon. I'm not gonna press anything because it's gonna take me to a fucking shop. And I want Sylveon. And the set store. Okay, and it all links to the set store and this is the costume for me. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's worth, it's worth a look. And you can straight up buy the pirate costume. What's that supposed to be? I wish I know the names. Can we just Pretty generic. Nothing stands out to me. Backpacks, okay. None of these look any very interesting. <laughs> Not a lot of gameplay happening, has isn't it? Okay. So this is a waste. Held items. There's something to do with that. <coughs> oh, main background. The lots of cos cosmetics. Most of it's not really important. <coughs> oh, the Zerko trading. So I'm guessing all these crystals are like premium currency. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. <coughs> nah, not a fan. The red clashes with the blue. A little too much for my liking. Get that in blue. I'll, I'll be happy with that. Like blue with a winter mode. Oh my god, that's adorable. Look at that. Sylveon is just already accessorized, so I was like, a knight costume? Well, that's the last thing I'd think of it. If anything, I'd give it more f uh, frills. That's more like it. Oh, shit, there's a lot of them. Let's just, uh, gonna be here for a while. Let's not get distracted. Go get some matches in.
Nope, I'm back here again. I wanted to go to battle. So how does this work? I want to just go straight to rank, but I don't. <laughs> I'm not going to be that guy. I still need to learn how to play before I need to start going around playing the game. But yeah, the frame rate just dies. Uh, oh, I got Espeon. Paddle clap. Okay. Swift, cool, side shock, stored energy, auto set. Range and sure hits. And then it becomes side beam with growl. Okay, uh, how do I... You just press start? Whatever. I should be top. Now this is the Pokemon I need to be learning to master. And I don't even know if it does any range. I imagine it can do swift. Which is a normal type attack as an Eevee. But hey, I do appreciate that it does show. Okay, these are bots. Oh, it even shows like little headers. What's this? I have no idea what that does. What's happening? Okay, there's one up there. Bitch, get out of my face. Yeah, you can see I'm pressing the wrong buttons here. So I'm trying to go for Psy Shock and I do the wrong thing. Uh, let's go with Future Sight. Splash some pressure. Itch out of my face. Okay, run, run. I keep doing the wrong attack. Seriously. I have to protect my teammate. Yeah, he's trying to score, so let's just like give him a bit. Bitch, too late. Thank you very much. Let's score that. It's three points. Okay, our side is doing okay. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. Get the fuck out of here. Alright, let's go. 
That's a bit much. Too much for me to handle, I think. Okay, so just time to score, I think. Bitch. Thanks for the points. I wish I knew what my ult does. I just assume it does a lot of damage. But yeah, downstairs, down here needs a lot of help. What's the score, by the way? I can't even see. bitch he's trying to go for it bitch oh Okay, got one. Oh, that's bad. Good, good, okay. Like how's that? Okay, uh, I just need to get to the one of those. Oh god. Okay, you just gonna let me score? Uh, this might be a bad idea for me. Yeah, that's dumb. That was just dumb. to get close there. Okay, that's 50 points. Score, baby. Let's go get some get some health. Is there a way to recall? Okay, I can.
Okay, good. And is that a way to jump? That's fine. That's my that's my stupid. I feel like this could be a lot stricter. Like I could be getting my ass kicked a lot more because I did make some genuine mistakes. But I'm getting it. I'm getting I'm getting mo the appeal of MOBA. I just yeah, I should kill that guy. Fair enough. <laughs> Somebody was uh definitely surrendering. Holy crap. I'm just trying to look at this and like who in the world could be an actual player? Well, I'll be- I'm MVP right there, there you go. Let's go again. I'm gonna keep- I'm gonna keep going. Claim your account from the trainer bar, unlock potions and battle items. Okay. Let's battle again. I get things if I do play the game. That's pretty much all I can understand. So average time is five minutes? No no no, not talent flame. Right, battle prep. Uh let's get into battle prep. Top path. That's the use of the power posing under the area into the air and sub center using psychic power. After delay, an explosion occurs that deals damage to the opposing in the area. In fact, a shot. Okay. It's great for setting up for, every for everyone else to do the chaos for me. I gotcha. I gotcha. Appear yeah, um, people have some held items there. So I'm with the Venusaur. I, I guess I should stay on my lane. But you know, I'm not being actively punished. I can't learn the consequences of bad play like that. But I know for a fact that's supposed to be a bad play. Let's go! So basically ignore these. These don't matter. This is where I start battling. What are you doing?
Okay. I have no re nothing to really comment. It's just like, I'm just trying to understand what's happening here, where everything is. Yeah, come on then. Come on. Get fucked. Get fucked. Thank you, teammate. Various good assists there. I think we just loop around. Oh, here they come. Are they gonna go after me? Yeah, fucked. Okay, it's just a general follow follow the flow. Follow the flow of the battle. Everyone else will assist, and everyone's just. Okay, everyone's going this way for some reason. I'll follow them. Because they're doing something. I guess early game is just bomb rushing is really effective. Nice. Oh, there's the Haunter. No, you don't. Come back here. Yeah, that's not a very smart move there. Serious? Ah, fuck's sake. It's got so many. Get out of my face. Okay, so you, that zone stopped you from taking the area too quickly. Get out of my face. Okay, they can handle that very well. I should assist my teammates as they come across. There it is. Steamroll. Get fucked. Not my face. Get fucked. Yeah, use that to escape. Get fucked. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, I should be doing this.
I have 13 on here. Okay, I'm getting used to it. Nah. Just pure DPS. Give me a bit of help, please. Where? Be a good time for you to surrender, honestly. <laughs> I should really get back on top, huh? The final Let's get the Zapdos. All right, let's go. Get on my face. All right, let's go. It's about time to finish it off. Cover it for me? Okay, you're covering for me. Thank you. Yep. Don't on. This is kind of a fun, mindless game. But yes. This is way too easy for what I expect it to be. These are all bots, I swear. I guess it like automates... It's like... The AI recognises the game is just completely lost. And just auto-surrenders. Which is fair enough, it makes, makes matches nice and expedient and I respect that. Go again. I can just keep playing this mindlessly. There's not much to it, but. But yeah, generally I'm supposed to be playing Espion with someone else. Because that ult is meant to set someone up to kill someone kill my other teammates. Or I can use it as an emergency escape. That said, I can't wait to try the other EVs. That guy has got to be a real player. Because he didn't. He, he took the time to actually choose. At the very least, I'll take the ones past past these ones. That, that person can handle that. But these two, these two are mine.
Good. That's nine points. What are you doing? Yeah, run. Go with sword energy. Good. Okay, Star Dungeon is like a homing attack. It will hit. I have to go around this way. Like, oh yeah, I work for this guy. bitch. Let's go again. Are we doing an art? Nope, we're good. Oh god. Yo, fucking ass out of my face. Ah, oh, good thing I remembered I had an ult ready. That's by far the most appropriate time to do it. Uh, 24 points. Is that enough? I could gather more, but I'll, I'll dunk right now. Because right now the enemies are respawning. Score some points, eh? That doesn't look good. Get fucked. So this is working. One point, but you know. Oh god, I got some DPS out of this. Really? That's adorable. <laughs> Good fuck. <laughs> oh. I need to get back to my upper path. They can handle it. Oh, hello. Let me snipe that. Let me snipe that.
Get the fuck out of here! Thanks for the cover. Get fucked. I got it. Just add to the DPS. Now everyone seems to be storming the main area, so I'm just gonna score a cheeky point right here. While well, everyone's distracted, and that thing's gonna try and kill me. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stop that, Jiggly. Gotcha, bitch. Okay. Oh, he got fucked. Oh! Uh oh. That's my fault. Got a bit cocky there. So I'm gonna take the upper path and just make my way. Yeah, I don't go. Screw up that wiggly tough, I swear to god. Bring me in. That one. The final stretch. You're on fire. Main thing is to stop the enemies. Yeah, by all means, attack it. Well done. This should be a surrender by now. I'll never actually see what happens when you win, win, you know, when you get into the base. But hey, I guess making big number go up. Okay, I guess, so every time I play a match, I get some kind of credit like that. But hey, I leveled up. And I'm going to unlock Venusaur at some point. Alright, that's good. Back to main menu. I think that's enough. Well, the conclusion is... This game is jank as all hell, despite all the money behind it. But it plays well. See, you're trying to increase your last battle. I can get your commemorative gift from me. Okay. What the hell is that? Check your picture. Check your picture. Check your picture. Okay. See, guys, I'm first. You can use a potion during battle and immediately restore some of it. Try it out for yourself during battle. How? I uh, don't know what this is. So, a license for Venusaur. That's some kind of power, uh, X power. So, basically, I have held items that I can use during battle. The X attack would be useless to me because I'm a special attacker, but I'm guessing it. Uses special rules where attack and special attack make no real difference. Otherwise, what's the point? These items do look nifty, though. Well, the license is out of there. Is this for the season?
What is this? Oh, this is based on Pokemon points. So like the points I get, I get during battle. With like the points I dunk in. Start the new event for training. So just to you for the beginner's chance, I try try it out. What is it? Oh, receive a wide variety of rewards by completing missions. Every or the course, you'll be want every day to challenge yourself last 30 days. Okay. Just stand by a complete tutorial. Advance one. I should do that actually. How do I do this one then? Basics 1, 2, base. Okay, this, there's other modes I can be doing. What's this? Prize machine. Oh! It's like a gacha. What? I don't get it. I don't care for any of this. Okay. What's Panic Parade? <sighs> A new type of PvE battle is now available from Wild Pokemon's attack. What? What? What is, what is this? Oh, next available the 11th of tomorrow. Okay, so not yet. And how do I... No. It is Eevee. Oh, it's a limited time. So the clock thing is a limited time license. Okay. So it's really, really selling me on Eevee here. On um, Espeon. I'll have to look into it later, but... I'll keep that in mind. Closet, don't care. Item box. Potion, dice. You can roll to advance as many squares as possible. What? I don't care. I don't. Whatever. What's chat? Oh, okay. Well, at least this thing has a messaging system, unlike Nintendo's main thing. And with this, I just. I just play to level. Okay. Well, it's been an hour, guys, and I have to say... I don't know what any of that means. I'll just leave it. It's a lot of redundancies, which is probably by design. I can tell you about battle passes. Play all. I don't know what the hell that was. What's the premium pack? I don't get it. Pick up a total citrus to restore. Oh, okay, so those things restore HP. But I was never in a state where I was in that much trouble. Oh. Well, 
general conclusion for this game is I'll play this in the background, but I don't think there's much I can really comment on except I don't know when new Pokemon comes out, but it's just a very, very basic kind of game. And there is meta to it. There is like positioning and all that, but there isn't much to it. There's no real skill. It's all about really tactical thinking. And I do like that as in terms of a, a mindless game to play. But in terms of a thing that will really engage an audience while I commentate on it, it's not much I can say. It's just, okay, they're over there, I'll go over there. And just like, yeah. But yeah, this is a really good game. Jack is all hell. Very ephemeral, because it's online only, so once this service goes over, it, all your money spent on this game is gone. So I wouldn't recommend spending any real money on it. But, I do recommend it. Ha. <sighs> Well, that's the out, out of my system. My curiosity has been sated. I've been thinking about this game ever since its release. And it has confirmed all my suspicions about the free-to-play model. But it is viable if you don't care enough about the collectibles and the costumes and the cosmetics. You can just play the game. But I don't really know what would be the point of you bragging about you being good at this game because it's it really holds your hand when you're playing public I, f I imagine in rank it's gonna be way more punishing but I don't see the skill behind it if you know what I mean it's just calculating big number and how and having the timing done I think it's I think that why that's why meta is very important for this game because it's generally a fairly solved game and I don't really intend to learn it because, <laughs> you know, I'm not learning any skill here. I'm just learning formulas and tactics. But hey, till next time, guys, let's try a different game. Bye!